Hey guys, back at it again with an Ipsy video. Um, this is for the month of September, and sorry if I sound a little nasally, I'm kind of sick. That's okay. So I'm just gonna go right into the video. Um, first we have the card that says Ipsy Glamazon, too glam to give the fever damn. <laughs> Real talk, we're through with Lazy Beauty. Put away your sweatpants, let down your ponytail, and get glammed up for just the heck of it. Dirt coat of mascara, check. Five minutes to conquer the, extra, the perfect cat eye, double check. Getting busy with skincare before bedtime, you know it. Hashtag Ipsy, hashtag September Glam Bag, hashtag Ipsy Glams On. At the bottom here it says high maintenance. More like, hey gorgeous, primping, primping ain't easy, but someone's gotta do it. Visit ipsy.com slash glam bag to brush up on your beauty skills with how-to tips and videos. So that's really cool. Then you have the um, Ipsy Stylist right here. So now we're going to get out the Ipsy bag. Here it is. It's really cool. It kind of has that metallic feel to it. And it's gold right here and it says Ipsy for the zipper. And then right here it says I-P-S-Y for Ipsy. Kind of, kind of reminds me of the Hercules uh, gypsies and that movie and they make like letters and stuff so that's cool so first thing I'm going to get out is the Naked Advanced Aloe Cream um, I'm pretty sure this is for your hands it sounds like it's for your hands but I'm not sure kind of smells like baby lotion I'm going to put a little bit on because I don't really like hand lotion because I don't like putting lotion on my hands I just don't like the greasy feel to it but just to try it out and see I really like it, it's really smooth it makes your hands really soft and I actually might use this hand cream just because it kind of feels like a little bit like like oily and like slick but at the same time it doesn't and it has the right consistency and feel to it so I think it's probably hand cream. It could be moisturizer. I'm not sure. And now I'm going to move on to the Amy Natural Kind New Leaf Pore Deep Pore Exfoliating Polish. Um, the Amy New Leaf Polish is a deep clean cleansing treatment. It contains natural rice um, that work deep down into pores to lift away dirt, oil, and impurities, revealing cleaner, smoother skin. So that's really really cute. This little bottle is really cute. I'm gonna smell it. It has 25 milliliters in here. It kind of smells like peaches and cream, or what I could smell. It's kind of orange. It is orange, not kind of orange. It is orange. So I definitely will be using this. The next thing that I have is the Dirty Little Secret, or DIS. Um, what is it? It says teaser right here. So oh, it's eyeshadow. It says Dirty Little Secret eyeshadow. And here is the eyeshadow package. It's really cute. Um, it does feel a little like it'll break if you're not careful. So that's what I, I mean. The packaging is really cute, but just the material isn't as great. But it's not about the material. It's about what the eyeshadow is. It's called Teaser. And I'm actually wearing it in my eyes right now because I actually really love this color. It kind of gives off this like bronzy, orange, orangish, like brownish kind of color. I'm going to swatch it real quick. Real quack. I'm going to swatch it real quick. So you have to like the light has to hit it perfectly. So I'm just going to wait a little bit. But it's a really pretty color. I feel like you could even use this for like um, bronzer or contour. No matter which one. But I'm using it on my eyelids right now. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. I didn't put much on, but I usually put a little bit more than, than what I have on right now. But it's really, really, really pretty. It's a really pretty color. I really love this eyeshadow. I don't know. Lately, I've been an eyeshadow person. But I'm usually like a lip person. Like I love lipstick and especially matte things. Next, I have the Too Faced Lip Injection Instant and Long Term um, Lip Plumper. It works for about two hours. I've used it three different times, and I've learned something new each time. Um, as I'm taking out the package, I guess I'll tell you. Um, for five to ten minutes, it does tingle, and it feels really weird. Like, it hurts a little bit, 
but not much. It's just like a little bit in it. It's like, oh, here it says on the note, you may experience a slight tingle that can last up to 5 to 10 minutes. Apply only within the perimeter of your lips. If it's applied on your skin, a temporary redness may occur. If any discomfort to present, remove and discontinue use. Keep away from children. So, this is actually like serious kind of stuff. It's Too Faced lip, lip, lip Injection Extreme. When you take it out, it's kind of like a lip gloss. But do what the packaging tells you. Don't go over your lip line. Because I tried that. And it got red. And I had liquid lipstick on top of it. So when I got to school, I looked in the mirror. And it looked like I had a big giant bruise in my face. Because it did create redness around it. If I had like a light, like new lipstick on there, it wouldn't look bad because it would look like I just had like a liner on. But I had like the NYX Sandstorm on, and that's like a brown color, a brown nude, and so it did not look pretty. But it does plump your lips. That's what I have to say is it does plump your lips. So like 97% said that it delivered instant results, which is true for 5 to 10 minutes. It definitely gave me plumper lips. I actually have it on right now, but it probably went down. 97% said lips feel moisturized, and that's actually really true as well, as my, my lips felt like silky smooth. Or they still feel that way. And 93% said lips look fuller and more plump. And my bottom lip definitely looked more plump, and right here a little bit it looked more plump. I mean, it's not going to give you, like, Kylie Jenner lips, <laughs> but, I mean, what do you expect? This is, like, one product, but it does make a difference, so... And then one, two, three, four, five. Okay, last but not least. Oh, this is cute packaging. It's guava butter. 91% natural lip uh, creamy lip and cheek stain. Um, so you can use this as a lip cream, like a lipstick, or you can use it as a cheek stain or a blush. 90%, 91% natural. It's vegan. No mineral oil. No parabens. Um, gluten free. Hy hypoallergenic and non. Common, common dogenic. So not tested on animals. So this is a great product. This is a really good product. I think I can feel my blood coming out. But this is a really good product. Like, I mean, that's great that it's not tested on animals. Oh, and on top of the packaging it says, share, our, share your pics with us at Seraphine Botanicals. So it has a little Instagram like right on top of the packaging, which is so cute. I absolutely adore. And the packaging is actually really cute. Uh, it says what it is again right here. And this is their Instagram. Whatever the brand is called, I can't say it right. Seraphine Botanicals. So, let me first lift it up. You would think that this is the blush, but it's really not. Um, you twist it like this to get more out of it so that look how much like you're really getting like you're getting so much and how much like blush can you use like this is this is gonna last me for a while also because this isn't necessarily my color but I can see myself using it and makes me want to use it even more because of I guess I should have swatched it like this first I'm gonna blend it out a little bit so that it looks kind of like a blush Okay, so um, it smells really nice. That's for one. And here, here's the color. I really, really like this. It looks really cute with my skin tone. It's just not something I would wear on a daily basis, just because I don't like blush that much. Because I'm more of a like bronzy person. Like I love blonde, like bronzers, and you know. So this is my part in the video where I go from my most, like my least favorite, to my favorite. Or sometimes I go from my most favorite to my least favorite. Sometimes I go from my least favorite to my most favorite. So right now I'm going to go from least favorite to my most favorite. The least. Diane the least favorite. Um, I actually really liked all of my... I actually really liked all of the products that I got this month. Um, nothing actually really like stood out to me like wow like that worked amazing actually it kind of fit there it did but not like I give my glam bag like a an 
80% this month, which is still good. So, actually 85%. So my uh, least favorite would have to be the Naked Advanced Aloe Cream, just because I don't usually wear hand creams, but I might start now because I really like the texture of this, and I really like how smooth my hands like even look and feel. So, just because I don't wear hand cream. But that's the only reason why it's my least favorite. My next one has to be... I'm not even going to lie. Um, it has to be the guava butter. As much as I love, like, there's no parabens, it's gluten-free, hypoallergenic, 91% natural, vegan, all that. That's amazing, and that's... That would that would be my most, like, favorite with those that category. Like, that's awesome that it's, like, vegan and not tested on animals. But just... The product itself, it's amazing, but I don't wear blush that much. That's the only reason, especially with the hand cream. And they're not really my least favorite, but it's just because I don't wear them often. Um, next would have to be the exfoliator, just because the other two are on top. But I really look forward to using this exfoliator. I haven't used it yet, and I really want to use it. But I have this problem at night where I forget to wash my face sometimes, which is not good. You should always wash your face, but probably all of us have done that before but the next is the eyeshadow because I really love this color um, I've used it two days in a row already so I'm, I'm I'm betting that this will be gone and I'm probably gonna go get this color so if you're a tan girl it's perfect for you <laughs> actually it's for everybody next um, is the lips lip injection instant and long term lip plumper just because I was so amazed at how well it actually did work for my expectations I didn't think that it was going to work as great as it did so it also is Too Faced and I love Too Faced I eventually am going to get the chocolate bar eyeshadow set it smells like chocolate but yeah um, so thank you for watching this video um, leave your leave your comments Comment which one you might use the most or which one you might use the least. But um, please leave your comments and subscribe to our account. Bye.